Alright, so probably gonna be crying a lot in this video, so sorry for that in advance. <clears throat> I'll try really hard not to. <clears throat> but I'm not making any promises. Cause um I really need to get over this whole trying to hide my emotion ordeal that I've been going through recently. Um, it's not healthy. It's not, it's not good for me, for my family, for anyone really. It's not good for any of us, for any of us to hold our emotions in. It's something that we all have to just learn to live with and just process and, and move through. Our emotions, I mean, that's what I mean when I say it's, I mean our emotions. And... When I say our emotions, I'm meaning more our negative emotions because I know we have happy emotions, obviously. We have excitement and laughter and joy, all those good emotions, you know, people will go through like no big deal. And actually some people don't really process those healthily either because of all of their negative emotions that they just keep so bottled up within them that don't allow them to fully process the happy emotions. Gosh, spit. <clears throat> I lock the door so nobody interrupts me. Or if they do, they have to wait until I'm ready to answer. Because I didn't want to get interrupted right now. Um, um, I didn't want to be in the middle of crying and bawling. And then I hate that. The, and that that always seems to be like the point at which I'm interrupted the most. Is when I'm at my peak. Like, you know, emotional purge. Where it's like coming out strong. Really strong. If they don't know what I'm doing. If they know what I'm doing already, then they'll leave me alone. But if they're not aware of what I'm doing for some reason and it just happens to come out that I start purging I'm just like interrupted in that moment and I have to <laughs> fucking reel it back in cause then it'll start going on to them causing a whole new fucking drama that I don't want so I'll just lock the door Tell them I was busy um I'm coming. Bye.